Hey, what's going on guys? So look, it's been a good hour or so. God mode, three times speed. Um, been grinding around here in this bush area actually. Those bushes right there. I'm gonna do a no encounter real quick. Uh, these, you can get a lot of AP. There's like a lot of fights with like maybe five enemies in it. You can get from like 150 AP to like 200. And with the double weapons, you know, that's a lot. So we finally got Cloud's level 3 limit. Um, we fucking, we got region. Uh, we leveled up some shit, for real. Uh, cool! Um, I'll show you, uh, oh, hold on. Uh, Gobblemon got his third limit too, and his fourth. Cause I, you know, I had it from when we got the... What's his face? Vincent. Bob Dole. So I'm gonna show you uh, their new limits. And look at their health now. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, Gobblemon's new limit. He's got Howling Moon, which makes him just... He gets Haste and Berserk, which means, I mean, he can't really control at all what, what, which one he attacks. But he pretty much just goes and rapes everything. Check it. He's not doing it. Bam. Alright, and here's Cloud's third limit. Meteor Rain. It attacks all opponents. Check out this damage. Wow. I haven't tried finishing touch yet. We're gonna I don't think I never really used it that much. So, uh, as you can see, look, I leveled up like 10 times in an hour. <laughs> I'm gonna have no trouble now. Like, it's over, guys. Because <laughs> that one fight with the thing I had with, when I was in Mountain of Bell really fucked me up a little bit. Uh, we got Earth Rape, so we're gonna attack that. That's not bad. I like his other one better. I feel like it does more damage. Oh, no, is it? Okay. Well, I guess that's good then. Finishing touch. He just blows him away. Wow. If it doesn't blow him away, it usually just it can do a massive amount of damage from what I hear. Hey, um, but with all that, you're caught up on everything I did. Uh, mostly just went to level up materia limits and my peoples. I have 106,000 gil, so it shouldn't be a problem for me to buy anything. <laughs> now we're finally gonna get into this new town and meet a new character. I'm so excited. I'm gonna save it right here just in case something I glitch out the goddamn game. I'm gonna save it on six. And now we'll enter this town. What's that? It's a fucking ship! It's a rusty old rocket. Wonder why they made something so huge. I'll tell you why I made something so huge. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I kinda like, alright, we're gonna go ahead and buy some shit, cause I have more than enough gill. See what this oh fuck I don't want to do fucking gay <sighs> and in the Shanghai <laughs> trying to find a new character there's a couple fights slat sort of boss fights but you know really easy boss fights to do especially with all the new limits we got holy shit it's over <laughs> <laughs> And do oh look they got barrier exit time nice we got three new materials three new medics see if there's anything I can actually like really use exit time we got haste oh I'm gonna put it right there actually I kinda wanna put it extra plus Shiva restore 
all. We'll put it, uh, we'll put, we're gonna put time right there. And then we're gonna put, uh, we're gonna put, ooh, escape, remove. Let's remove. We'll use that. Uh, that's cool. We'll get we'll get some haste going on here. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh my god! Might help us in the long run during boss fights when we don't have god mode. Uh, alright, cool. That's what's up. It's my job to make people all over the world laugh too. It's my mission. My life's mission. Drill arm. Ooh. Sounds like it's for Bart. Oh no. Wait. He's got a double one now too. Oh yeah, you know we're going for it. Holy shit. There's no way. Damn, there's so much we can do right now. Oh, man, that's awesome. <laughs> you have no idea how cool that is. <laughs> we're, gonna do, we're gonna get rid of Death Blow. Put it somewhere like down here. We're gonna put that fire that we just got. We're gonna put that up here. We're gonna put Death Blow down here. Can't revive. God damn, look at how much. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that's cool though. We'll only use Barrett for a while, I guess. That's cool. Everybody has a double weapon now. Nice. Very, 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 very cool. <laughs> Barrett. Oh, yeah. So, I guess we're gonna go up here now. We're about to meet a new character, I believe. You've been talking around here somewhere. I can't go over there. Wait, no, what is happening? I gotta get over there again! <sighs> what the hell? I think I have, oh, okay. I think I see what's going on. I have to go around. I've, what the fuck? <sighs> Wait a minute. Guys, I think I'm lost. This can't be. No, no, I won't let it be. Who's that guy? Alex excites you, baby doll. <laughs> Whoa, that was pretty gay. Huh. Ah, get back in there, bitch. I see a staircase. Did I go up here already? I believe I did. Pretty gay. There's, we have to find a guy named Sid. You guys know who it is. <laughs> secret area. I don't know, not really secret area, but cool. Doors everywhere that you can't see. <laughs> it's in here? Oh, I really don't care. And in here? I mean, unless really there's something I missed, which there shouldn't be anything I missed. <laughs> oh, well, okay. I talked about the Gramps just now. I'm guessing it means Sid. So maybe I, maybe I triggered something just now. I never... Okay. Never got that. Power source. We got a power source. It's pretty cool. And here. Spec door. There it is. Okay. We found him, guys. Uh, there's a Shinra logo on it. Tiny Bronco. 
<laughs> this is cool. Shinra always keeps the best things for themselves. Let's take it. Um, may I help you? No, we're just looking at it. If you would like to use it, please ask the captain. The captain should be in the rocket. I'm Shira. And what are your names? I'm... Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm Cleveland of Avalanche. Nanaki, otherwise known as... Gabumon. <laughs> Gabumon. <laughs> so you're not with the Shinra? I thought you were bringing approval for the space program. What? President Rufus is scheduled to come here. The captain's been so restless all morning. Rufus? Oh my god, Rufus! Oh my god! <laughs> so we gotta, now we gotta go to the rocket. Now we gotta go to the rocket. Get the tiny Bronco, and that's what we're gonna use to get Aerith's final limit break, actually. So, I'm gonna go up here on the rocket. If you'll excuse me, I need to grab something out of a bag. It's gonna, it's gonna, I need a shoulder. You ready? Oh yeah. That's a very sexy sound. Alright. So, let's go find uh, our new character. There he is. There he is. You guys ready? What the hell are you guys doing here? We heard the captain was here. Captain? <laughs> I'm the captain. Talk about that thing. Boy, I tell you what, I want to give him, I know I want to give him a country accent, I want to, I want him to be Hank Hill, but I don't know if my Hank Hill is going to be that great. <laughs> God damn it, well, <laughs> we'll name him Hank Hill, for the hell of it. I may even give him a different voice, but you know. Ah. Uh. It's so gay! Got it. Belly Bob. <laughs> Belly Bob. We're gonna name him Billy Bob. Name's Billy Bob. Everybody calls me Captain No. What do you want? Uh can we borrow the tiny Bronco? You had a goddamn mine. <laughs> That's my most cherished possession. I can't let you take it. <laughs> it's hard. This is actually kind of hard for him to do. I, I mean, I live in the country. <laughs> Not bad for a kid. All right, I'll explain it to you. You know, Shinra developed a lot of technological gadgets. During the meaningless war, right? Well now, it's a Mako company. But in the old days, it was a weapon manufacturers. Well, I came up with a rocket engine. There was so much excitement about the thought of going into outer space. Our dreams got bigger and bigger. They put a major budget into it. Made propane after propane. Finally, they completed Shinra number 26. Late chose the best pilot in Shinra. Oh, I think I just found his voice. Hold on. Finally, we got the day of the launch. Everything was going well. But, because of that dumbass Shira, the launch got messed up. That's why they became so anal. <laughs> and so, Shinra next, the outer space exploration. After they told me how the future was space exploration, and I got my damn hopes up, Damn them. Land, it was all over once they found out Mako Energy was profitable. They didn't even so much as look at space exploration. Money, Moolah, Dinero. My dream, just a financial number for them. 
Look at this rusty rock. I was supposed to be the first man in space with this. Every day, tilts a little bit more. At this rate, I don't know which will be first. This falling over, me getting out of here. My last hope is to talk to the president. Nice. I think, alright, that's a pretty good voice for him. I kind of, I wanted to, I know this is going to sound stupid. I kind of wanted to channel a little bit, bit of Applejack from My Little Pony into that. She's that country. And I mean, I'm from the country, so I'd, I had to dig into my own. I mean, I'm originally, the first 10 years of my life, I lived in Vegas. 17 years after that, I've been, I've been living in good old West Virginia. Fuck West Virginia, I hate it. <laughs> I mean, it's a great place, beautiful, very beautiful, but listen, here's the thing. It's also, there's nothing to do around here, guys. There's absolutely nothing to do. So, I mean, um, if you ever come down here, shit. Shit, there was one time I was at work, all right? Um, someone came in and was like, we all, we're visitors. What is there to do around here? Every one of us, all right? We all laughed. <laughs> Like, what is wrong with you? You're in West Virginia. Cold day, ain't nothing to do. Up there. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know. So that's what Sid's voice is going to be. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, he treats his wife like a fucking dick. Did the captain say anything? Nope. Oh. <laughs> I was saying, uh, Sarah. What are you, blind? We got guests. Get some tea. God damn. I I'm sorry. Really, don't mind us. Shut up. Sit down in them chairs and drink, go drink your goddamn tea. Damn, I'm pissed. Sure, I'll be in the backyard tuning up my tiny bronco. Make sure to get, uh, make sure to serve them some tea. Right? I, I'm kind of, right, I'm kind of liking voicing Sid here. <laughs> Damn, man. What's up with that guy's attitude? Sorry, it's our fault. No, no, he's always like this. Oh, I think it's a bit too harsh. No, it's because of my stupid mistake. I was the one who destroyed his dream. What happened? Get your ass in gear. You work like a snail. Even the moon get tired waiting for, <laughs> waiting around for your ass. I'm I'm sorry. Don't take so much time checking that damn oxygen tank. Shira being careful is good, but no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank, it won't matter. Alright? That thing wouldn't break if even if hell froze over. But no buts. You're not stupid, so be more efficient. I'm sorry. Captain, our dreams are finally coming true. We are so proud to be a part of the launch of Shinra number 26. Captain, preparations are complete. All that's left is liftoff. Wave it all to me. I'll be back in a few. Fly our dreams into outer space. Thanks, guys. We are praying for your safety. Instrument panel, all clear. Shinra number 26, ready for launch. Engine pressure rising. Shinra number 26, three minutes to launch. Beginning countdown. Finally. What the? What happened? Billy Bob, we have an emergency situation. A mechanic is still in the engine section of the rocket. What? Who's the little bastard? I don't know. Activating the intercom in the engine section. Damn it, who the hell's still in there? It's Shira, Captain. Don't mind me. Go ahead with your launch. Shira! What are you still doing in there? I was still concerned. The results of the auction didn't tank test. <laughs> I can't, sorry. <laughs> Weren't satisfactory. You stupid little bitch! <laughs> 
It's gonna get so hot in here that there ain't gonna be shit left when we blast off. You're gonna be burnt to a crisp. You're gonna die. You know that, don't you? I don't mind. If I can just fix this, the launch will be a success. I'm almost done. Almost done? You're gonna die. We must start the countdown. We won't make it if we don't. Wait a minute, Shira's still in there. What are you going to do, Billy Bob? If we cancel now, it'll be another six months until the next launch. God damn it, Shira. Oh, Shira, you want to make me a murderer? Captain. Shira? Tank number seven check is complete. Once I complete tank number eight, it's all clear. Come on, Shira. Hurry up. You're gonna die. 30 seconds until ignition. Beginning countdown. Bailey Bob, forget about her. We won't make it in time. What? What am I? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> 15 seconds until ignition. I ignition. Internal temperature rising. Oh man, the moon. Outer space. My dreams. Ignite engine. Shit! God! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> there we go. I feel like, I don't know. One of those is pretty good, I gotta say. I'm really having fun voicing Sid, actually. I like to use my country voice here sometimes. Ever here once in a while? I also hate it, though. I could have had this on three times, I didn't even realize. He pushed the emergency engine shutdown switch, aborting the mission to save my life. Sorry. <laughs> After that, the space program was cut back and the launch was canceled. It's my fault his dreams was destroyed. That's why it's all right. I don't care what the captain says. I'll live my life for him. Sarah, you still haven't served him tea? I I'm sorry. Hurry up and sit down. Or ain't my hospitality good enough for you? <laughs> Later, late. Where's Rufus? Palmer, there he is. Hey, hey, long time no see. So, Billy Bob, how you been? <laughs> well, if it ain't Fat Man Palmer, how long were you figuring on keeping me waiting? So, when's the space program gonna start up again? Hey, I don't know. The president's outside. Why don't you ask him? God damn it. Good for nothing. <laughs> God damn it, good for nothing, fat fuck. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> hey, hey, tea. Hmm, can I have some too? I really like green tea. I need it with lots of sugar and honey and, and all. Yeah, don't forget the lard, because I'm a really big fat mother. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> God damn it, Palmer. <laughs> All right, uh, next episode, we figure out what President Rufus is doing here. Let's do this. Talk about that dang one. I'll tell you what, man. We're going to figure out what that President Rufus is doing here, man. We're going to get that airplane. We're going to travel all around the world, man. We're going to go everywhere you think of, man. All right, Boomhauer, let's go. <laughs>